Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to learn about the React Native SVG and the React Native Transfer. Okay, so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here I'm using the package React Native SVG and the transform both. Without this, it will not going to be happen so we need to use this one so why we are uh, focusing on the svg pattern why because svg cannot be distorted at any of the screen but the png and jpg at the sum of the extent it can distort the images right so that's the reason we are using the svg okay so how we are going to use that one and how to add the property over to it we are going to learn in this video so here we have the code so let me enhance this one so let me go with background color to be not nothing this to be nothing so transform we are not going to add this green so where i'm going to add hash ddd for the background now you can see that the look this is that one okay so these are the, all of the SVGs we have imported from the files. So here you can see that all the SVGs. Okay. <clears throat> and this is the simple, very easy code. Okay. So here we have just added the height and the width of that one. So I'm going to use this one here, commenting out it here. Okay. And uh, SVG pattern. Now you can see that the whole of the SVG, this one drupal part is again the height width there is so let me remove this one so where we have added the height and the width so you can add the height and the width like this okay otherwise by default if you want to see that you can see that this is looks like so if you want to make it smaller then uh, you can do the height and the width over here so i will add the height and the width uh, here so height Height is to be 100 and width is to be 100. Let's see what's going on. And let's see what it is. It's not, I think the height and the width worked with like this one. If you go and just add the height and the width here, height to be like, you know, 100. So you can see that on the top of the image, you can see. And here you can add the width also. So there are some of the properties that is added over here. Width is to be like, uh, I want the width to be 100. So you can see that now you can see this one so like this you can just add the svg according to their height you can also add the transforms property which have already added like uh, it did rotate if you want to rotate like uh, 180 degree 20 degrees so you can add the transform property to rotate that one okay so this is the fledge code that i have added so it's basically you can see that here all of the files i have added the react native svg okay and uh, just i have installed the packages nothing else and after that i have just imported the images over here svgs and here you can see that just added the styles and the logo <coughs> and it will play with it okay there are the styles you want if what whatever you want to add the styles you can add and play with it okay so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section any issue you are facing just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video the packages i am using i'm going to share that packages the packages are this one react native svg and the react native transform svg transformer okay so these two packages we have to install to make this project to run successfully any doubt, any query, let me know in the comment section. Have a great day.